Buffalo Creek Park is one of four county parks in Lynn County, Iowa. It is located just west of Coggin on County Road D62. It is a beautiful Monday morning here at Buffalo Creek Park. It's a county park in Lynn County. Uh, this is the entrance, so if you look right there, that is where you come in. And as you come in, there's a nice big parking lot. There's a toilet over there. And pan over here, there is a pavilion to, to reserve. It's a, it has a little grill in there too, which is nice. And then if you go over here, if you can see back over there, there is a playground right off of the, the shelter. It's nothing great right now. It's just swings and a slide. But um, there is a sign, and I'll show that to you later. Uh, it says there's going to be a new playground in 2023. So that is something to look forward to. So here are the campsites. They are pretty darn level. And they all have a nice gravel pad. There are 13 sites. It is first come, first serve. So a lot of times when I do these videos, I'll tell you, I'll like look at each site and tell you the number, you know, so you can, you can reserve the site that you want, but it doesn't seem that important this time. Since you can't reserve them online anyway. But as you see, they're, they're shaded, they're flat. They each have electrical. There are 13 sites, each one with electrical and water hookups. And at the front of the, the very beginning of the park, as you come in, there is um, a dump station. I had to think of the word. We don't do it, we have a little teardrop. So we don't have a little bathroom, so we never use those things. And I was really hoping to do this video without the mower in the background, but I am, they really keep this place nice, so I can't complain because they really do a great job. There is firewood for sale. Six dollars a bundle. The wood that's in there right now is from Kroll Farms. I have to give them a shout out because I'm from Mount Vernon and they are just south of Mount Vernon. We actually get our wood from them. And they actually have a really nice um, plant nursery too. If you're looking for some plants, just go south of Mount Vernon on Highway 1 and you'll find Crow Farms. Here is the kiosk. Here is the playground that they're gonna have in 2023. And each each site is $23 a night. Here's the lower part of the park. There aren't many pull-throughs. I think there might only be two. Um, so the rest of them are back in, just, just something to keep in mind. But they are all very nice. And as you can see, it's a very nice shaded park. And um, we had a hard time choosing which site to, to use because they're all so lovely. And way in the back back there, I guess there used to be more sites, but this, this area is prone to flash flooding. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be coming here. Um, if it is spring and there's going to be a lot of rains, you might want to just consider, consider that before you, before you come here. There is a kayak access, canoe kayak river access on Buffalo Creek here. I was told that it keeps getting washed out. So it's not the greatest kayak uh, access point. See, it's, there's quite a bit of drop off right here and there's some big rocks. Just something to keep in mind. Um, Otherwise, it's quite beautiful. I think the water is up a little bit high right now. 
Um, so maybe, it, you know, the kayak access isn't quite as difficult. I don't know. This is the first time I've been here. There is a trailhead right off the campground. It's not very long. <laughs> this is a very small park, which makes it so lovely and quaint. Uh, so I think it maybe took me 15 minutes to walk the entire thing. Um, but uh, apparently there is the biggest population of bluebells that you'll find around in the spring. So it would be fun to come here in the spring and see those. Uh, there is a pit toilet with a sink with running water. <laughs> we thought that was kind of funny. But um, yeah, so there is a pit toilet and we came on a Monday and a lot of times after a weekend pit toilet smell and this one has no smell which is really wonderful i'm not going to show it to you but what i want to show you is if i can get that out of the sun i don't know if you can see this so there is uh, maybe you can see it that's the flood line from 2010 and i'm five foot two and it comes up to my chest <laughs> So, just remember that this place can flood. Overall, I give this place a big thumbs up. It's quiet, it's quaint, it was nice and dark last night. Um, my husband's pet peeve is a lot of light in campgrounds because he wants to feel like he is in the woods, right? <laughs> and you want to be able to see the stars. And we didn't really stay up past dark, but um, I imagine it was pretty dark because I got up to go to the bathroom and it was really dark and there were a lot of interesting noises from the bugs and the frogs and such. I would um, I would tell you all this with my face in the camera but I have bedhead and you don't want to see that so <laughs> anyway I would I would highly recommend this place and I hope you um, come and enjoy it. Have a blessed week. Bye bye.